Are you ready to go over to the library? Pebbles said she'd talk to us about what we can do to thin down. Yeah, I'm ready, Bon. I was just trying to fix this can opener for Wilma. Looks like I'll have to get her a new one, though. Yeah. <laughs> they just don't grow them like they used to. Let's go, Bon. Well, Pebbles, yesterday you told us what fat is, how a person feels about being too heavy, the types of nutrients in food and the reasons people gain too much weight. Now can you tell us about getting rid of extra weight? Sure, Daddy. The first step is making the decision to take off the weight. Gee, Pebbles, that's easy enough. Just a minute, Mr. Rubble. You really must want to succeed. Make some practical goals and stick to them. But if you fail, it doesn't mean that you're weak and worthless. I can do it. I can do it. That's the spirit, Bon. You should diet for a good reason. Perhaps it's to change your appearance so that you can feel better about yourself. Or maybe it's for health reasons. Extra weight has been proven to contribute to medical problems. Okay, Pebbles, you got us convinced. Now what's next? You should study your eating patterns. Don't eat just because someone else is, because something looks good, or because an advertisement tells you to. Uh, can I eat because I'm hungry? <laughs> well, sure. Another thing you should do before you start on any diet is see a doctor. A doctor can check your health and then design a diet that fits you and your lifestyle. Now, that's good advice, Pebbles. But what are some things we should know about dieting in general? Well, of course, I've already mentioned the basic rule of losing weight. To get rid of stored fat, you must burn more calories than you take in. But your diet must be a balanced one that will keep you healthy. It should be sensible and normal enough so that you can use it with modifications for the rest of your life. Diet for the rest of my life? What I'm trying to say is that you need to eat the right kinds of foods in the right amounts. Most people who take off weight put it right back on because they return to their poor eating habits. Yeah, that makes sense, Fred. For example, the body gets most of the sugar it needs by changing starches into sugar. There is little or no need to eat extra sugar, but a lot of people eat too many sweets. Many people also eat too many fats and fatty foods. All this extra sugar and fat is stored in the body. Gee, I guess I can do without some sweets and fats. Be aware of hidden calories and empty calories, too. Hey, that sounds pretty mysterious. <laughs> when a food has many extra calories that you wouldn't have guessed, that's termed hidden calories. A food with little or no nutritive value, but plenty of calories, is said to have empty calories. Gosh, Pebbles, how do we know if a food has hidden or empty calories? Get a reliable calorie counting list that tells you the calories and the nutritive value of many foods. Some lists even give you brand name foods. Lists are available through the government or other sources. Measure your portions and plan your diet around good foods. It's also wise to keep a chart of the foods you eat, their calories and amounts of protein, carbohydrates, fats, and other nutrients. Hey, uh, I like keeping charts. Good, because it's also smart to keep a chart of your weight loss progress. Weigh on the same scale once a week. Some people like to weigh daily, but just record their weight once a week. Progress will be slow, so don't become discouraged. Also, keep looking in the mirror. Hopefully, you will be encouraged by what you see. Gee, Pebbles, I'm beginning to see that dieting isn't an overnight deal. That's true. In fact, a long-range diet takes in many factors. If you have a big eating period coming up, like around the holidays, adjust your diet. Take in fewer calories before and after the heavier eating days. Hey, uh, that's fair. Sure. Remember, I said a diet should be sensible. Also, be good to yourself. If you're reaching your goals, you may want to reward yourself with some non-food treat, like some new clothes. It's also a good idea to have some allies when you're dieting. Bonnie and I have each other. Right, pal? Right you are, Freddy boy. Once you've reached your goal, you have to stop dieting. 
but you have to keep eating sensibly to maintain your weight. Many people find this difficult to do. Extra weight is easy to put back on. Remember, if you start with a sensible diet, you can adapt it to fit your lifestyle. You know, Fred, dieting doesn't sound too difficult if you go about it sensibly. I go about everything sensibly, Bonnie. <laughs> oh, sure. All right, will you knock it off? <laughs> Would you two like some helpful aids and tips about dieting? Sure. Okay, here goes. Eat smaller portions. Skip dessert altogether. Eat slowly. You will actually feel fuller on less food. Drink a glass of bouillon or tomato juice before a meal. The liquid will add few calories, but enough bulk to make you feel fuller. Salt your food less. Salt holds water in the body. Use small fruits or vegetables as snacks if you must snack. Make use of lower calorie foods like skim milk instead of whole milk, or tuna packed in water instead of oil. Broil meats and drain off excess fats. Cut off visible fat from meats. And drink about four glasses of water a day. This will help keep your system flushed out. Well, those are a few tips. Honey, those are great ideas. You know, you're a genius at chip off the old block. Oh, Daddy, they're mainly just common sense, which is a lot of what dieting amounts to. Now, would you fellas like to take a little walk with me as we discuss the other part of weight loss? The other part? Sure. Come on, you'll see. What's this other part of weight loss, Pebbles? Just what we're doing right now: exercising. Exercising, huh? Yep. Remember, I said losing weight meant that your body had to burn more calories than it takes in. Sure, we remember. Well, to lose one pound of body fat, you need to burn 3,500 calories of stored energy. Exercise will help burn those calories faster. For example, walking like we're doing now will burn about 350 calories an hour. Different types of exercising burn different amounts of calories. Gee, I feel good already burning up some of that stored energy. Exercising also keeps your body fit. A fit body uses food more efficiently. I think I'll take up a hobby like jogging or playing rocket ball. But I'm not the sports type. You can get exercise by joining a dance club or just by doing simple exercises in front of the TV. Also, start substituting human power for some of the jobs you let machines do for you. Using stairs instead of elevators and walking to work or school are good ways to start. If you're going to get into strenuous activities, let your doctor check you over first. Then gradually work into the activity. Say, Pebbles, couldn't I just get one of those vibrating belt machines to shake some pounds off me? Daddy, there's no machine that can shake or press off pounds. You have to exert the energy. Also, there are no magic belts or girdles that will melt fat away. While we're on the subject, diet pills are not the answer to losing weight. Some are dangerously habit-forming, and others simply don't work.、Uh, the only good way is eating carefully and getting exercise, huh? Right. There have been a lot of fad diets that have been popular, also. Most of these diets have you try to eliminate one or more types of food and concentrate on others. Since people need balanced diets to stay healthy, these types of diets are usually not the answer. What about just not eating for a day or so? Starvation diets are not wise either. When you resume eating, you usually overeat to make up for the time you were fasting. This puts an unhealthy strain on your system too. Well, you sure helped me see what losing weight is all about, Pebbles. Yeah, I'm gonna do something about my extra cargo starting today. Let me leave you fellas with a few suggestions. Pay attention to your body and its needs. Keep looking in the mirror and ask yourself if you're satisfied with what you see. And stay in tune with your feelings and emotions. Good idea, Pebbles. Now, if you will excuse us. We are off to eradicate that excess bulk. Yeah, and then we'll lose some weight too. Oh, brother. <laughs>
Well, it's been two months since our little talk on weight loss. You know, I'm really proud of you two. You know, Pebbles, it was worth learning new eating habits and getting in an exercise routine. I'm really happy with the way I look. Me too, and I feel a lot better. You're really doing your bodies a favor. Aren't you worried about one thing, though, Fred? You're not going to be able to throw your weight around anymore. <laughs> Honey! <laughs> <laughs>